Hey guys, Happy New Year's. Hopefully you all had a great Christmas and maybe some of you got a PS5. I know we did. We were lucky enough to get one at launch. And Bragger. Bragger. We did. I, I'm not apologizing It wasn't for easy, but it we wasn't were lucky. Easy, we were but lucky. We were lucky. PS5 had very few exclusive launch titles. We're talking four. Yep. We're talking Astro's Playroom that came pre-installed, Demon's Souls, Spider-Man, and Sackboy. And that was it. We decided to pick up Spider-Man. We got the Ultimate, ultimate Edition. Launch. Yeah, The Ultimate yeah. Launch Edition includes Spider-Man Remastered. It includes this game, but it's remastered on the PS5. Yeah. I have seen screenshots and stuff of the difference between them. This game looked great. Did. I only played I played it last Christmas. And we played it on the PS4 Pro. And I played it so on I don't the Pro. Know if that made a difference. It might have made a difference. But it's only been two but years since launch. I think that was part of the reason we decided to buy this one was yeah. because you played that last loved. year, yeah. loved it, had to pick up this one. Yep. And like I said, there was only four launch titles to yep. choose from. So well, I got two exclusives. Of them. You got two. Well, you got three of them because the other one came pre installed. Well, the Astros. Yeah, I got three of them. Yeah. So pretty good. What we're going to talk about today is Scott's thoughts and opinions I on the game. I finished this yesterday. You did. You finished yep. it yesterday. So we want to talk about it while it's still fresh in his mind. I have a lot of questions. I did watch you play a lot of that one. I haven't physically played any of the games. I hear the combat, the feel is really, really great. Oh, it's great. great. Yep. I did see yep. some of the uh, story, some of just the, the scenery flying over New York City. So I have a few questions and I really wanna know how this stacks up to Spider-Man on PS4 without trying to give spoilers. I wanna do this yeah. Uh, well, I will tiptoe around everything as much as I can, as still as give can. you my opinions on everything yeah. without spoiling the game for you. And we're going to conclude what we think you should do. If you think you should buy, we think you should buy, or we think you should wait. So without further ado, let's get on with it. We're going to talk about Spider-Man Miles Morales. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was right. Now it's your turn. Go be a hero, Miles. It is a good story, really good story. A couple of really good characters, but it is short. It is a short game. It is a short game. game. I did not 100% like Platinum Trophy everything. No. But I did. Cleared the entire I map. I cleared the entire map. Yes. I did everything. There was some challenges that I didn't get 100%, so I didn't get my Platinum Trophies on and everything. I love Spider-Man. Yeah, I love Spider-Man. love the, com the comics. love the movies. I love the cartoons. And to be able to play this, this one felt like you were Spider-Man. Yeah. And I think they mimicked that well in this game as well. Absolutely. So if you've played this you know how to f you it's a safe purchase if you've played this loved it and everything and then you go out and you buy this day one pay full price like we did i felt a little disappointed on the length of the game and the fact that it is basically a cookie cutter of this game now i do understand that it's only been two years since this one came out to that one but yeah. it is the exact same thing. This one here, you you start the game off, you're fighting uh, the Kingpin's gangs, you're clearing those maps and stuff. Yeah. Well, this one here, it's the underground. Mm -hmm. And the gang, it is almost identical with just, they just look different. They have different powers and stuff, but the AI comes at you the same way. It was a brilliant plan to put out a game two years later. It, it came out fantastic as far as glitches. Uh, I know I, some people did have issues with. There were, I guess. Yeah. I heard. I had heard on a different YouTube channel that somebody put their uh, PS5 on sleep mode while this was in, and it crashed. It crashed. It broke the machine. I, I didn't have that, but I honestly haven't used my sleep mode on my PS5. I just turned it off. The uh, the graphics on this are, are a little bit more polished. Yeah, and not you would much. expect that. Not much. As far as loading screens. Did you find a difference? Was it faster? PS4 Pro, PS5. Yeah? I don't notice the difference. I didn't, it's not that much. How do you notice I wonder five seconds if, if I wonder if Dennis were to play it, because he has... He the, just 
played this one. Not he just played ago. it, but I, I wonder if he old. would notice the difference on a PS4 versus a PS5. So yeah. I guess if you guys have played both and you've played it on PS4 and not the PS4 Pro, please comment and let us know. Did you find a difference in the graphics and the loading? Is. There probably is. Yeah. I love Miles Morales the character. I've been uh, reading the comics since he first appeared. I think it is in Ultimate Number Four. Yeah, I can't remember. We'll have to pop it up on the we'll screen. We'll pop it up. I have the comic. Yeah. But that was his first appearance, and then Into the Spider Verse on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix yeah. now. That's really good. That really highlights Miles Morales. As far as the comic book universe and then the movie universe and all that stuff with Miles Morales yeah. and Spider-Man, they're not following that, so I don't know exactly where they're going with it. There are three uh, really cool characters in this. You got Miles Morales, obviously. Obviously. Then you have his uncle, Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis. Is his uncle, which is also a super villain. His super villain name is the Prowler. He does not come across as a super villain on this. No. And in fact, the first time Miles Morales Spider Man runs into him because there's a mission where you run into him because of where he works. Yeah. He knows exactly who he is. You do end up having a fight with uh, the Prowler mm -hmm. at one point, but it's not so much a fight like to the death, like enemies. It's his uncle is actually trying to protect him from going to do something to save the city. So and would this... you consider him a bad guy? Then, no, I, guess. I don't consider the Prowler a bad guy in this, this yeah? one. So they do deviate a little bit from the character. like in. And I think they even said that, that they wanted to make the Prowler something different yeah. than you're used to seeing. Now, I will tell you what, that fight between Miles Morales and the Prowler Best part of the game? Was my favorite fight. Yeah. That was so cool because of the Prowler's, uh, his, his superpowers. Or I think it's all tech-based stuff. Yeah. There, but he phases in and out. He goes invisible. It, it was the funnest fight it I've had in the video game fight, for a while. But it wasn't your hardest fight. Not at all. I guess that brings us on to the next biggest character next in the game. Next biggest character in the game was the Tinkerer who was the uh, leader of the underground. Yeah. Now there are two- Finn there, Mason. Finn Mason, yeah. Yeah. They went to school together. I yeah. I don't remember if they were related, but there's a storyline- For story some reason line. I thought it was his cousin. It, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. It does make sense. There were two big gangs, rival gang. Well, this the Roxxon Corporation, feels like very military gang that yeah. you had to fight. And then there was the underground, which was the Tinkerer's gang. Okay. That was- fighting against the Roxxon Corporation and all okay. that stuff. But you, uh, you always ended up fighting both of them. You would go into, um, there'd be a crime happening. Yeah. You'll get it on your map. Yeah. And it would go, and it would be them fighting against each other. Okay, so you were kind but of I intervening? Would have, yeah, intervening, but you'd have to fight both of them oh, at the same time. Okay. They're fighting each other until you get there, and then they both so, start pointing their guns at you and going So out. you were like a bad Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. You were like in the middle, but both parties hated you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's not good, but yeah. <laughs> it made for a fun, fun fight, I bet. Oh, yeah. The worst fight I had, or it was at the end, because the you have to... The most challenging fight. The most challenging fight yeah. is it's like all-out war between Roxxon and the Underground, and then I'm just, you're just going through waves and waves. It oh, feels like you're going through the map, and there's a blizzard. It's snowing oh, in New York man. because it is Christmas time. This game takes place It's your Christmas. Christmas game! Yes. So there's a blizzard, so all of that, and you're, you're going through the map, finding uh, all these guys, and you got to take them out, right? Yeah. And then you eventually get to the point of it's just you and the Tinkerer, and there's this big event that's going to happen that's going to wipe out the city, okay. obviously, because it's a typical superhero game. Exactly. So you have to... The Tinkerer will not let you get there to save it, so you have to fight back and forth. And I tell you what, that fight pissed me off. We had because to do it a few times. She has. Uh, it's very hard to get close to her. Like, yeah. You really got to know. You got to be able to like, move with Spider Man, swing and attack and stuff. And, and you felt, and I remember you telling me this last night, you felt there were a couple times that the hitbox was a little off. Oh, there's at least twice where I, I yelled at the TV because I should not have gotten killed there. 
Anyway, this one here, I cleared the map. map. Now, when you do that, all these little missions and things you're or, or things you're searching for in the city gives you uh, little tokens or whatever yeah. that you can put against either new gadgets or upgrading uh, powers yeah. or getting more suits. Well, once I got my classic Miles Morales Spider-Man suit, the black and red. That's, that's it. it. You that's stuck it. with that. That's Miles Morales. Name. I remember you changing suits like uh, a bajillion times. Not that many. There was probably four, or five, six, maybe that I I went through and tried them. Some of them, Spider Man. You were like a woman powers. on a Saturday night. Yeah. So I didn't really give his his different suits a chance. So I just literally stuck with his bare bone suit because I like that. You suit. like that that's suit. the awesome suit. Yeah. Now have if I had a did that and changed some of the suits, maybe I would have found like, oh, he's got some cool powers. Yeah, probably. Now, the reason why I did not go through the map and unlock all that stuff. Uh, to get these new suits is because I felt like I already did it when I played this game. Yes. It is identical. It's it, it's the identical map. It, everything sets up the same way. It's very cookie cutter. It's yeah. just different different missions and stuff. And there was one there um, because Miles Morales it, and his uncle were big into music and stuff. Yeah. There's one mission there where he sends you out and you have to find a sound. Okay. But I think he puts it into a uh, a recording or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I did one of them and I'm like, mm, I'm done. I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't care much for that. Super villain count on this compared to this is huge difference. Oh man. I wrote down. I don't even know if I got them all, but for the first Spider-Man game, you have Doc Ock, you have Kingpin, you have Mr. Negative, which was the leader of the demons, which was a. Uh, yes. Uh, one of those gangs, because you had King, Kingpin's gang, you had the uh, the demons were the big yes. gang. It's very same, similar. And they similar. were with the black and white masks, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was very similar, you know, almost the same kind of style of game like that. They had two, you know, a couple of gangs here. A couple yeah. Of, you know, but there was so much more. The AI, I, w the AI would come back, come yeah. at you in the same way almost, but yeah. they had different powers or different weapons. But there was always one big guy, and you're like, oh, that. SOB, I know he's gonna be the guy, so you yeah. wanna take him out as quick as you can. Electro, Rhino, Scorpion, Vulture, Shocker, Taskmaster, Screwball, and Tombstone. Yeah. And there may even be more that I can't remember. There was a battle in this one here where you fought, I think, four or five of them at the same time. I know. And it was I remember epic. that. It was, it was crazy. Epic. Loved it. Epic. Crazy. I loved it. But in comparison, there was like. This one here. Uh, Rhino shows up for super villain. They talk about you hear Fisk's name like you'll see a picture like yeah, because he's in jail Yeah, uh, Norman Osborn you'll see in a little thing here, but they're not like directly involved. You hear with some voices yep. Yeah, but it, this is basically the tinkerer prowler rhino rhino You're fighting the underground and you're yeah. fighting the underground and rocks on guys. Yeah. yeah Would I recommend somebody to go yes. and buy this the game burning question? At the end of the day, now that you have finished playing it, what's your recommendation? If you've if you've already played this and you've played all the DLC that you could have got for this, then unless you're a huge huge fan, like and you uh, have I would to have wait. It. I would wait. The game itself, the story itself, is worth it. It's a good game. It what, is a good game. Don't, yeah, I don't want you guys. But to... it's so short. And it's very cookie cutter from this that it feels like it's a DLC. And especially if you've played this just recently, it's going to yeah. feel like a lot Most of Most people might have played this two years ago, so there's a little bit of a break. Yeah. I played it a year ago, literally last Christmas. We got our PS4, I got this game, and I played it, and I loved it. So one year later, I played this, which feels like the exact same game, just a different story. Yeah. So it felt like a DLC. Now, ha if you have not played this one, and you want to get into Spider-Man, we would both recommend 100% jump you into just it. get this but, one. But start at the first of the story with this one and work yeah. your way through because it's all one story. It's all, the whole exactly. thing. It's a continuation from this. So you would, there would be, I mean, you could get it. So if you want to have it in your collection, but if you're going to start somewhere, get this one. And then you have the ability to play this one on this one, the yeah. ultimate with launch the edition. With the enhanced graphics. Exactly. Yeah. My thoughts are that this is a kind of a, a step, a step to the third Something one. Something else. Yeah. In true Marvel fashion, after the credits roll, 
there are there is a scene that happens at the end of this game. I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but you're gonna wanna watch it because it, it hints to a character that will be in the third one. What's your hopes? Now, what's, what's my hopes? Hopes for the third one. My hopes for the third one, but they're giving a lot away because I don't wanna ruin it for people that haven't read the comics or watched the Into the Spider-Verse and all just, that. I think you hope they go all out. Go all out. Make it a trilogy. Don't drag it out because it's a cash cow and people are going to buy mm -hmm. three, four, five games. Go all out. But it can be epic. It, it can be, be epic, epic yeah. kind of like Last of Us 2. Do it like that and then this trilogy is done. Then focus on Miles Morales after that. Yeah. Because he's a very good character, very good Spider-Man. But this did not... This was not the best showing of his story, in my of, opinion. Of his yeah. story. So you yeah. would like to see them finish the trilogy go, and then go really... Go crazy with it and yeah. then go with, go go with, with Miles. Miles Morales. Or the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Which introduces tons so of alternate... many characters. Yeah. Tons of alternate universe spider men and women and everything. Yeah. Animals. And, that's what I would love. I would love for them to go all in on number three. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. People might be upset or love That's it. That's the markings of a great game, in yep. my opinion. Then, so. the next one after that, Spider-Verse. Yeah. All right, do we have anything more to add to this? I think we've said everything we can say. I think I've said too much. Say. <laughs> I, think <laughs> I think I've, I've said, said too much. But yeah, guys, uh, if you have the chance to play Spider-Man, yep. any one of these would be great. Uh, we want to thank you so much again for watching. And until next time, game on. Game on.